Welcome to this week's episode of the Leading in Healthcare podcast. And if you're watching this on YouTube, I decided to record myself live recording my podcast for those of you that love video. I love video content, so I know there's some of you out there that probably prefer video more. So just thought I would pop in and show my face a little bit. But without further ado, this week we're going to be talking about how to adopt the mindset of a leader. And what I want to do is share with you what the mindset of a leader looks like and also give you some tips on how you can um, understand what it takes to have a mindset of a leader because I think that we can kind of truck along in our career thinking that we're doing well, thinking that we're making an impact because we're getting the work done. And we could even be getting the work done well, but that's only one part of being a leader. So without further ado, I have some points that I want to go over to help you learn to adopt the mindset of a leader. So in order for us to understand the mindset of a leader, we have to understand what mindset is, right? And having a mindset of a leader is centered on how you think your beliefs, and how you process information mentally in order to then act on that information and create results in your organization or even in your personal life based on the thoughts and the mindset that you have and the way that you've acted from that space. So one of the main things that have you shift into just a regular old leader with a title and to a leader that really has that mindset for leadership is actually priming yourself for learning, for growth, and for expansion. A lot of times as leaders, especially in healthcare and especially now, what we are doing is we are trying to make sure that we just get through the day, get stuff done, get the task performed so that we don't get in trouble, so that we meet our metrics and our targets and all of the things instead of really pursuing what it means to approach your job from true great leadership. In a time like now where healthcare is just moving a mile a minute, sometimes we feel like we are in a reactionary mode and where we don't have time to slow down and to learn and to practice and to become more competent in our skills as a leader while also developing and learning new skills. But this is precisely the time where you really have to step back and again, look at your leadership from a different lens of not just trying to avoid pain or move toward pleasure, but actually improving yourself and your value to your organization, your value to the people's lives that you're touching by becoming a better person in your competence, your skill level, and also learning new skills to keep you moving in the right direction and expanding as well. I want you to pay attention to this one because this is one that nobody talks about. Um, in leadership, we talk about time management, communication skills, um, prioritization, all of those hard skills. But this is one thing that we're not talking about. And if you're not doing it, I guarantee that you are not the best leader that you could be. And it is about learning how to optimize your decision making by being a more perceptive leader. And when I say perceptive, I mean, you have this ability to perceive different types of information around you. I have talked about this before. If you have not listened to my podcast on how to trust yourself, I spend a little bit of time breaking this down. But specifically what really great leaders do that you may not be doing is being able to pick up on all different types of information. That means not just the information that you're able to pick up with your five senses, but that emotional information, that intuitive information, and then compiling all of those cues into a, a story or a picture that is more broad, which allows you to make more optimal decisions because you have more information available upon which to do that. So if you want to learn more about that, again, go to the podcast episode about how to trust yourself, or I have tons and tons of resources about that, or I can do another podcast on that if you just leave a comment for me. Another sign of a good leader is about setting goals 
and being able to take action toward those goals to meet objectives and then bringing your team along with you for that journey, for that ride. I know in a department that I'm helping it out with right now during COVID, they were a small but mighty team and they were inundated. And at that time, yes, sometimes you do have to focus just on the task that's in front of you. However, when things do have a moment, when you do have a moment to breathe, when your team does have a moment to breathe, sometimes what could happen and what should happen is being able to create goals because no one loves operating in a space of same old, same old, status quo, reactionary energy 100% of the time. People, your staff that you lead, yourself, thrive best when they are expanding and when they are growing and when they are challenged and not just challenged by a workload, but challenged to do better and to be better. And so part of being a good leader and adopting the mindset of a good leader is to know when you can bring goals and objectives and milestones into your team, onto your team, into your team, for you all to be able to strive towards something bigger and better than just the, the task that we grind through on the day to day. One thing that I have done with um, an organization that I'm working with is we are actually starting to do a, some time trials with some lean principles in order to see if there are ways that we can be more effective and efficient so that when things are chaotic and when they are heavy, we've adopted a more lean and streamlined process for the way that we do our work so we don't have to feel as stressed and burned out as we did in the past when these instances occurred where we had to kind of ramp up our production and our workload. And, and they're, they've been involved with that process um, and we have goals and milestones that we're creating together to help get to the place where we are a well-oiled machine. So as you can see, having the mindset of a great leader not only is about meeting the deadlines and getting the work done, it entails much more than that. You may be great at getting a task done. You may be great at doing it right. You may be great at doing it on time, but that doesn't mean you're a great leader. Think of when you go to a movie and it's one of the most horrible movies that you've ever seen. The actors, you don't even know how they got cast in this role. Or even the, you have good actors in the movie, but the director sucked. And so therefore, the actors and actresses that normally perform well kind of suck, right? I want you to think about you as the leader of your team in that light because everybody that let this bad movie come to the movie theater, to the movie screen, they all did their job. They all finished what they needed to do, but that doesn't mean that they did it well. And that's the same way that I want you to think about your leadership. And if you want to give a great performance and give great direction and get the most out of your team so that you can have the best product available, the most valuable product available, the blockbuster hit of the century, then you are going to have to understand that it's not just about getting stuff done. It's about the performance that is inter injected in the actual things going on operationally within your team. Some other things that I want you to think about, a good leader is authentic and a good leader has integrity and character. I've done a podcast all about authenticity because I think that it's very misunderstood in today's world. And so there's another resource for you if you want to learn more about how to bring that authenticity and integrity into your leadership to be a better leader. Check that episode out. I will leave it in the show notes. It's all about how to truly show up authentically, not only in your leadership style, but also in your personal life. This is all about knowing yourself, knowing your values, knowing what matters not only to yourself, but also to your team and integrating all of that information to be able to understand a bigger picture than what is going on in the day-to-day -day operations that sometimes bog us down. 
I'm going to mention again, to be a great leader is not about status quo. It's about the mindset of innovation and creativity. And these things are driven by reflection and growth and expansion. You hear me talk about that all the time, but it's true. Those are the marks of good leadership. So there you have it. I've left you with seven thoughts on how you can learn to adopt the mindset of a leader. Not someone who is in a leadership position, but someone who is truly a leader. Again, there's no manual that we're given for how to develop authenticity, innovation, creativity, all of the things that truly help you to propel not only yourself, but your team. So if you would like more help about how you can do that within your team, how you can be a better leader, not only in your professional life, but also your personal life, or if you want me to help you or someone in your organization learn how to adopt the things that I talk about in order to become better leaders, which are more valuable to your organization, then go to yashikalin.com or you can check the show notes. I'll put the information there as well um, for more information about how I can help you or how I can help your team. And as always, make sure you share this information. We don't often have information available to us that is teaching these things that we really need to know to be great leaders. Nobody's talking about this stuff. It's all about all the hard skills and all the um, masculine oriented, let's get it done, let's hustle. But none of the stuff that has us to step back and be authentic and introspective in order to tap into what's important to us and have that intuitive ability to understand what our team needs to be successful. And so I want you to share this. I want you to download it. Give me a review give me a rating, um, all of the things that help the message get out to those that need to hear it and those that need this kind of help to become better leaders. And I will talk to you in next week's episode. Okay. Take care. Bye.